Oh. Ah. Hello, oh hello, do I need to put another book under there? Is it a bit low today? Oh, Cincy, how hot is it today? Look at me, I'm sweltering. So oh, I know what to do. Hello, Anne from a very hot Lincolnshire, North Lincolnshire. Hello, afternoon, me duck, says Valerie. Francis Grace, guys, now, and a clap of thunder. I've just taken the cushions in, because it's going to do that here in a minute. Uh, Claire's afternoon, it's warm, isn't it? Oh, tell me. Susan. Hello, John, everyone. Susan and Pat on the Isle of Wight. Catherine says hello. Lisa says hello, everyone. Oh, it's baking. Baking it is. I nearly came on in a vest. So hot. Uh, Ruby. Hi, John, everyone from the Thundery Acton. Oh, is it? Is it Thundery? You've got all your windows open, Ruby. You'll be hot up there, won't you? Uh, Sharon says hello. Carol says afternoon, everyone. Maureen says good afternoon. Not so warm. As you're in the northeast. Oh, hang on. That who are you talking to, Maureen? I'm not in the northeast, my love. Julie says afternoon. Princess says hello. Um, Patricia says hello. Anne, hello, John. Hello, everyone. She says hello, everyone from Hot and Sticky Cardiff. Let's see who's going to get the rain first. You see, there's no there's no clouds in the sky. So, but it's just gone very dull. Uh, Annie says afternoon. All Yvonne says hello. Gorgeous Sheffield is sweltering. Susan says hello. Jacqueline afternoon. John, how is everyone? I was in hospital for hours yesterday, just glad to be home, but now got the heating on. Blimey, how cold is it, Jacqueline? Margaret says, good afternoon. Sue says, foggy Cornwall today. Kim says, afternoon. Glad we got an excuse to come in from the sun. Oh, the sun's gone in here. I've taken, like I can say, I've taken all my cushions in, because this time yesterday, no, a bit later than this yesterday, it started chucking it down, like proper chucking it down. Oh, Tesco delivery man in a vest. Uh, hello, John, and everyone, love to see you all here. A warm in Wiltshire too, says Pauline. Uh, Christine says, hi, John Edward. Tracy says, melting on the narrow boat. Dog slaked out on the cool floor. Yeah, um, Gert Luther can't find... He keeps trying to settle on the, on the slates and everything like that. I can't believe how many deliveries Matt and Cassie have from Tesco. It's incredible. Uh, Christine says, hello. Uh, I've done that one. Princess, have you enjoyed a few days in the sun? I've been too busy to sit in the sun. Princess, I went straight up to the Wirral to do... I'll tell you all about this later. And then got stuck in traffic coming home. Took me four and a half hours to get home. Then yesterday I was doing the um, launch of the cookery book yesterday. And then today I got up. I was overslept big time this morning, which isn't, it's all right. And then I mowed the lawns. Uh, and then I got all my cushions out because I put them away yesterday when it rained. Sat for about an hour. And then back in here. Uh, Janice Brighton, Motherwell. Jill says, hi from Livingston, overcast day. We had rain overnight. Now sitting in the garden, enjoying the fresh air. I tell you, when the rain came yesterday, the smell was delicious. After, oh, look, Sue's already got the thunderstorm. Sue's already got it. Uh, oh, June started watching an old live. Did you think I know what it's going to say next? Uh, Margaret's got her aircon on. Oh, that's posh in West Yorkshire, isn't it? It's hot here, John. I've got all the windows open. Fluffy the cat is not keen on thunder either. How funny, because uh, it was really funny. I was sitting with um, Luther yesterday when the lun lightning, and lun lightning and thunder started. He had no idea what was going on. Uh, right, uh, and hello, John. Very hot afternoon and thunder. Starts to rain early this afternoon. Now it's stopped. Julie says hello from Eastbourne. Just filling up the swimming pool. Swimming pool? That's posh. Is it not full all year? Or is it just because the sun's taken away the water, you've got to top it up? Hello, one and all, says Hilary. Liz, how are you, Liz? I saw Liz and Brian yesterday. Oh, oh, Liz, I meant to bring it upstairs. I've got my, I keep wanting to say tractor, my sewing machine downstairs. Hi, all, we're sunny now, grey and overcast. We'll keep sipping my rosé, says Yvette. Ooh, get you. Uh, sunny here in Devon, says Kate, although there's supposed to be a thunderstorm. Princess says, mode on a Sunday. Yeah, I'm allowed to do it in the morning. You have to do it before 12 o'clock. So you can make as much noise as you want till 12 o'clock. But then my neighbour, three down this way, lit the biggest bonfire. Biggest bonfire. And anyway, I put a, I complained about it on Facebook. And like minutes later, they put it out. So I don't know if they follow me on Facebook or somebody from the village has grasped me up. Uh, Rachel says, our last day chest day. Such a lovely week. Gary's pelvis is getting much better. Tony Hadley, absolutely brilliant last night. It's really funny, Rachel, because I went to a friend's 50th birthday. And uh, Tony Hadley 
and the Drifters sang at that birthday party. I know, it's a posh birthday party. Hope it rains here today, says June, I'm melting. June, oh, you poor thing. Liz says, sorry, should say John. Oh, why, what did you say, Liz? Oh, I can't see what you put. Can't see your original message, Liz, so I don't know what it would say. Uh, hi, all from a humid South Devon. Uh, says Sarah Jane. Sue says your village have kittens mow. No, 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 no. It's all right. You're allowed to mow in the morning. You're allowed to do it till 12, which is why I got up to do it. You're not allowed to do noise after 12 o'clock. You can do it in the morning. Just walk the dog up the river. Nearly forgot. Oh, hang on. Just walk the dog up the river and nearly followed him in. Oh, I'm not surprised, Sue. Maureen said I had my first taster session of quilting yesterday. Newfound respect for the art. Had rain this morning. Sunny at the moment, says Sandra Sinclair. Ali says hi. Just in for a bit before we go on the moors for a big picnic. What? In time for the rain, Ali. You'll get there. You'll put your blanket out and it'll chuck it down. Shirley Morell. Hello, John. Everyone hot here, but looks like another storm's on its way. Had one yesterday and I've never seen rain like it. No, it was here yesterday. I was about to get the hose pipe out. Well, I wasn't. That's a lie. I came back from the book launch, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And um, when I got back, uh, spots of rain started on my car. And then by the time I got here, I threw all my cushions in the garage. And then it, oh, it came down so heavy. Hello from Bedford. Uh, Bedford says, Fran, it's overcast now. Hope it rains. We really need it. Mari, you who John, baking here in Islington. But black clouds coming up from the angel. Might not need to water the garden tonight. No, I didn't have to yesterday. But then I mowed the lawn this morning. It's dry as a bone again. Tony Hadley lives near me, says Princess. What do you think? I thought he lived near um, Cheryl from Buck's Fizz. Uh, Francis, afternoon, John. Everyone, no sun in Sea House is Northumberland. Only 16 degrees. All get the heating on, Francis. Uh, not rained here for a month, so the mizzle is welcome for the plant, says Sue. Gillian, hello, John, from Sunbury. We have heavy rain now and we've got thunder and lightning. Oh, you see, it's on its way up, isn't it? There's no clouds here. It's mis It's overcast. It's not sunny, but it's not rain. Greetings. Just getting picked together for... Se oh, no, Marina. I hope it doesn't rain. I hope it doesn't rain because we're all supposed to have, like, thunderstorms and heavy rain again this afternoon, aren't we? They're, uh, they're releasing uh, their mum and dad's ashes today. Good afternoon. Oh, Sarah Manchester in Milton Keynes. Good afternoon. Still sunny here. So indoors with the windows and curtains closed, trying to stay cool. I drove past the house yesterday afternoon and it was baking this afternoon, wasn't it? And it was a, a converted church. And along one wall, they had all their curtains shut. Glenn says hello from a sunny Milton Keynes. Julie, hello from France. So Julie, sister-in-law Julie, I'll be putting some pictures up at the fashion show in a minute. I haven't had a chance. Uh, she's visiting Auntie Anne in France. We call Auntie Anne Defo because she can't hear you. All right, Defo. She calls me fatty, so it's, it's fair. I managed to speak to Lily, his percussionist and bass player, then he waved goodbye this morning. Oh, very nice. June, we haven't had rain for weeks and weeks. Have you not? We had, to, we had it proper chucking down this day. Beautiful weather in Limavardi, although it's getting a bit uh, thundery. Now, have I asked this before? Where's Limavardi? Limavardi? Limavada? All right. Afternoon, everyone. Judy. Hello, Judy. Looking good. Who needs a sun when you're full of sunshine? Me. Thank you. Jan, I've got, I, I, do you know what I've just done? I've just put some moisturiser on my face because it's looking a bit dry. Good afternoon. Thunderstorm here, says Jan. Christine says, happy Sunday from Ipswich. Christine, not Christine, sorry. Sue says, hi. Or Angela says, greetings, John from Cloudy, but warm West Dorsets. Uh, Sarah, Jane, that's posh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, who's posh? Uh, Gillian. How are the cats? Well, I haven't seen ghosts for a few days. Uh, Luther's just too hot. Now, I got an email from my next door neighbour, lovely Chris, saying, oh, I found out where your cats go. Anne, who lives right at the other end of the, of the village, right? Anne, who chats a lot. Apparently, Luther and Ghost live in her garden all day, running up and down a tree and catching the birds. Well, they never do that at home. Uh, a lot of stars live around here, says Princess. Thunderstorms over towards Stockport, but so far we've missed them over in Worsley, says Sue. Jill says hot and busy in the garden in Northumberland, just having a rest whilst watching you. Now we just had someone else in Northumberland said it was 16 degrees. She says she can hear you all right. Thanks, Fatty. That's defo. That's defo. Auntie Anne, defo. I'll send her my love, Julie. Uh, right. Uh, afternoon all, says Catherine. Francis, send the storm this way, southeast. Sun's gone in in Keithley. Now I've asked you this before. Did you know um, Jane Thornton's family? They're from Keithley. Alimavardi is Northern Ireland on the beautiful Causeway coast of the North Coast. Oh, thank you, Doreen. Hi, John. Joining from our caravan in Slingsby, where there is gorgeous. Now, Slingsby. 
That sounds like it should be near Mablethorpe. Don't know if it is or not. Uh, oh, they are naughty boys, So I mean, Luther now lives at home all the time. He just wants to... He's here. I don't know where he's gone now. We were just sitting in the garden together. And he's too hot. He's really, really hot. But Ghost, um, I mean, Ghost comes home, has some food, and then disappears off again. Uh, Julie had a bottle of wine at 11.30 this morning, so now snoozing in the sun. 11.30? She's a bad influence, that Auntie Anne. Anyway, Julia organised a fabulous fashion show at Maggie's on... Oh, my days. Friday night. Friday night. It was gorgeous. Uh, Helen's just got back from a nice lunch. Oh, that's nice, Helen. Uh... Oh, that I fancy. Well, it's too late now. I'm seeing Dulcie later. But we're not going to eat. She's gone from. She's having a massage now. She's got a massage book for four fifteen. And I don't know what will happen. Is she'll come back from the massage and she'll fall asleep on the sofa. But I think she's got to drive back to London tonight. It'd be hot having a massage today, wouldn't it? Oof. Now I didn't get a notification again today. Doesn't matter. But my food caddies are being collected tomorrow morning. That's the only message I've had. Uh, hello, all, all. Sun is finally shining in Wiltshire, says Gina. How are you, Gina? Don't get the... Oh, the sun's come out. The Tesco man's still delivering it at Matt and Cassie's. They must be having so much delivered. I went to Waitrose earlier. It was empty. Gina's well. That's good. That's good. Right. So, oh, hello, Crazy Lorraine. How are you, my love? Not seen you for ages. Has anyone seen Julie Vaughan recently as well? I've, I haven't heard or anything from Julie Vaughan. Hoping she's all right. Unless she'll like me on another holiday. But normally she messages in from whichever swimming pool she's sitting beside. I'll message her afterwards. Uh, so, on Friday. Have I got anything to say about Sane Street last week? I don't think so. I was exhausted because that weekend of uh, clearance was exhausting on my own just talking uh so hang on where did i go so that was at the weekend then i had monday off then i was in tuesday and wednesday oh i saw vix oh crazy rain we're sending you lots of love you've got to think now he's at peace and he's out of pain and he's in the best place and you'll meet him again I'm eating vanilla ice cream and strawberries. Too hot to eat proper food, says June. Oh, June, you're lucky to have those in your freezer. Uh, now, I saw Vicks for lunch on Wednesday. Me and Kat, producer Kat, went to have Vicks. We went to a place called The View in Wooten Warwen. Uh, and it was so lovely. And I had the most delicious. I had a butternut squash and green thing. Avocado. Avocado uh, salad. Uh, and then I had some halloumi on the top and it was, oh, it was delicious. Anyway, Vix was, yeah, I know. Have you seen that picture I put on my Facebook page? That flat for rental for six, that must be a house, not a flat. Six thousand pounds a month. I know. Uh, Jan, that's uh, Martin being funny. Hello, gorgeous. Just sort out Moho on first trip in Bath, murky and a bit rainy. Oh, that's right, Jan. Doesn't matter because you, you can go away. I bet Vix is struggling in this heat. Well, I can, all I can tell you is her belly button sticking out about that far, which normally means the babies are ready, doesn't it? Um, but it's all out the front. She's all out the front like this. So she was sitting there and she looked gorgeous. She was all freckly and sun-kissed and everything. And I thought, oh, how lovely. And then she stood up to say hello. And it was like, hello, like this, hello. Her tummy is like right out here. And she said, or oh, her feet and her hands are swollen up. And I said, what, what causes that? Is it just water? And she said, well, the amount of space these two are taking up. My, she said, I think my kidneys are in my feet because everything gets splurged, doesn't it? Uh, Northumberland's a big county, usually warmer inland than here on the coast, says Francis. Francis, I did a Catherine Cookson. I filmed a Catherine Cookson there years ago. And I've never, ever, ever been so cold as I was then. Uh, good afternoon, John, everyone. 27 here in Cheslin Hay, South Staffs. Very hot. Munch. Look at Munch joining in. Munch, aren't you doing football this afternoon? Uh, poor Vix says, so it must be awful in this heat. Patricia says, good afternoon, John. Just you and Stuart. Brilliant. Couldn't be better. Loved it. Good afternoon. Just you and Stuart. When's that? I haven't got him on this week, have I? Uh, Carol says, good afternoon. Good afternoon. No, no, I was on with him on um, one day this week, wasn't it? It was just me and him. It must have been Thursday. Then, of course, on Friday, oh, no football's finished now. No, you, weren't you doing netball yesterday or something like that? Southern softy. Oh, no, no, I'm not Southern, Francis. I'm from the Northwest, me. But it was, everyone was free. There was something about this house we were filming in. I mean, that might have been a bit ghostly or something, but it was so cold. Um, anyway, on Friday then, I drove up to 
well, we're all. Uh, Friday night, we did the uh, fashion show for Maggie's, which was a huge success. Very, very hot. Gorgeous models. I'll put some pictures up in a minute. Lynn Tuit, uh, bless her. Not funny being pregnant in the heat, heat wave. My daughter was born in the heat wave of 76. Oh, my God. That's the year I did my O levels. It was so hot that year, wasn't it? So hot. And I'll tell you what, I was wearing trousers that had a waistband that came up to here with like six buttons on them and the, the bottoms of the bag, and like platforms this big in the boiling heat. I know I must be mad. And a T-shirt, a brown T-shirt with a cream V and then a cream collar that went like that. Um, anyway, so we did the fashion show on Friday and I drove back Friday night thinking I'd knit back. Oh, no problem. No problem. Where's that? The N56 was completely closed. I had to go around a place called Daresbury or something like that near... Um, um, what's the bridge? Runcorn. Ram Runcorn. John, look up the programme B&B by the Sea, based on the north coast of Northern Ireland, where celebrities visit for an overnight stay. I think you should be on the programme. Well, I've never heard of it. B&B by the Sea. I'm not a celebrity anymore, though, am I? That's the problem. Um, I, hang on. That story... Thank you, Tori, and I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, Lynn Twitz, I was ten, ten to sleep in the garden, wasn't brave enough. This is 1976. I was semi-feral in 1976. I never had a time like it. No, it was incredible. Wasn't it? And then, what year did I go to the south of France? Was that 78? No, it can't have been. 77, I must have gone to the south of France. It got really brown that year. Hello, John, says Wendy. Frances, colleague of mine, just had her second baby, just missed the heat. Well, yeah, but if Fix has it soon, has them, them soon then um, she can enjoy it, can't she? Uh, the summer of 76 was the year of the Ladybird played. Or oh, was it Hillary? I don't remember that. I remember them playing. I didn't remember 76. Hi, John. I'm calling off the beach again on the west coast of Cumbria. Oh, Margie. Because I said last week I didn't know there was co there were coasts in that Cumbria. Sue enjoyed that programme. I just got married in 76. My hubby was the four in the forces in the Germany. We had a week at the pool as he was designated lifeguard. I got sunstroke. Oh, I've only had sunstroke one Lynn, once, Lynn. First day I got to Ethiopia. Got sunstroke that day. I was doing final exams in 76 and the bus to college was so hot the roads were melting. Oh, so. I, was doing, I did my O-levels in 76. Um, so you were doing your finals, I did my O-levels. Um, anyway, that was Friday night. Got home at about half past 12. Uh, went to bed, got up the next morning and then I did the book launch yesterday. This fabulous book. Now... I was going to tell you where you could go to buy it because it's meant to be on Ren Hall's website. But I've just been on there now and it's not there. So I'll tell you later on where you can get it. But it's a cookery, it's a cookery book. No, not a cookery book. A cake book. Look, all different. Oh, where am I going? All different cakes. Look, it's a fabulous book. There's £20 or 25 including postage. Um, but I'll find out what the link is for you. But it's really, really nice. I had to pay for mine. I know. I bought one for Rebecca Reed as well because she wanted one. Um, so I did that yesterday. Then I got home. And as I got home, like I said, I went to, uh, uh, came home and it was raining. I started nurse training in 76. The hospital was an old World War II hospital. It was boiling. Oh, the book's gorgeous, Ruby. Look, it's really, really nice. And I'll put the link. There's gluten-free. There's dairy-free. Oh, there you go. Dairy-free fruit cake. There's all sorts, and most of them were there yesterday. And you know what? I thought everyone was going to have to pay for their tea and their cake yesterday. It was all for free. It is lovely. I'll, get, I'll put the link up for you, Pauline, later. 1976, I got a love bite at a party. Wore polo neck jumpers for a week. My mum guessed and grounded me. I'm not surprised, Jan, because you must have only been about 12. Uh, I had a baby in 1976 in Nancy. I hardly put any clothes on for about three months, but it was so hot. Oh, Wendy says it's trying to rain where she is. Uh, I was in hospital on the summer of 76. We were pushed outside in the shade in our bed, says Christine. Franz and I remember walking barefoot in the pavement in the 70s heat wave. Mum decorated the front of the house. What with your shoes? Um, remember to stay hydrated, everybody, by the way. I didn't do that yesterday. So that was yesterday, the book launch. Then obviously, like I said, today I got up. I didn't wake up till half past nine this morning. Uh, got up up as 10, mowed the lawns. Uh, then I uh, chatted to friends on social media and everything. Had a shower, went to Waitrose, came back, sat in the garden, put all the cushions in the garage because they said we were going to have thunder and lightning at four o'clock. So I brought the cushions in. Just check the weather again now. <sighs> oh, six 
six o'clock now, they're saying. Thunderstorms at six o'clock, but then seven o'clock, brilliant sun again. Oh, and then it's going to rain during the night. Oh, and then tomorrow, thunderstorms from 12 till six tomorrow. Oh, God, it's my day off, aren't I? Uh, are you going to tell us about your new neighbours? I don't know anything about them yet, Princess. They, they've only just bought it. I haven't met them, don't know them or anything. So uh, it's all just going through because they, they, the offers only went in last week. So I don't know anything about them yet. I know uh, the husband, they're retired. They're a retired couple. And he's an ex-policeman. That's all I know. And he's very tall. Uh, Jan was 15. She didn't even fancy him. When we're 15, Jan, we do all sorts of things, don't we? Like that. Like that. Uh, the book is great, says Liz. Had a lovely day yesterday. Thank you. Uh, my, uh, well, it was nothing to do with me, but it was a lovely day, wasn't it? Cherry was there with Reuben, little Reuben. Um, and Liz came. Michelle and Butch came. Now, Michelle's normally in here, but I haven't seen her today. Michelle and Butch came. Uh, oh, a lovely Margaret from Warwick Gate. She was there as well. Uh, and her husband. And who else? There were so many people there. Oh, Julie's only just arrived. Sorry to be late. Don't worry, Julie, at all. We've just been talking about whether we've got the storms or not. And I've put my cushions in. It's obviously not coming here now. Six o'clock, I'll be round at Dulcie's in the pouring rain. You watch. And also, it's really weird. Like, Dulcie only lives in a village two miles up from here. To get from my village to her village, village, you have to go like this down this little track. And the amount of times I get halfway down the track and it's boiling sunshine here and it's pouring with rain at the other end or vice versa. It's really weird. Anyway, so that's the weekend. That's the book. Uh, now, let's talk about... Next, this week on uh, Sewing Street, because I've got a mammoth few days coming up, haven't I? So, uh, oh, oh, clicked on the wrong thing there. Oh, is it gone? There it is, right. So, to, not tomorrow. Oh, hello, Rhiannon Llewellyn. Bada June, watching from Ibiza. Oh, excuse me. Lorraine lives in Poole. We never get thunder. It stays behind the Purbeck Hills. We need a good downpour, though. Uh, pool, are you on Sandy Banks? Isn't that where the posh people live, Sandy Banks? Jail just arrived really hot in Devon. I've been in the shade all day. Julie says it looks a bit dark here, Farnborough in Hampshire. Very hot, got my fan on. Um, well, it's supposed to be thundering and lightning here. It's not, it's not arrived yet. Uh, so look at this week, right? Tuesday, I'm not in tomorrow. I've got a meeting with my publisher tomorrow morning. And then after that, I've, I'm not doing anything. I'm just prepping for the week. We had heavy, very heavy rain and thunder yesterday in Ayrshire. So did we, Catherine. Edith says we could do with the rain. Well, Edith, it chucked it down here, but it's a dry as a bone again today. I know uh, I'll have to get the um, uh, host pipe out of my garden later if it doesn't rain. But then if it's going to chuck it down all day tomorrow, maybe I'll wait. I'll do my, my hanging baskets because they quite, get quite dry. And I'll do, uh, Ali and Marina bought me some uh, Cosmos, which I've, put in all the pots and everything, give them a wash. I'm not posh. Sandy Banks is just a posh carper. I know, Lorraine. It's really weird because they're always going about Sandy Banks being the most expensive place in the world to live. And then you see a programme about it. It's a really fast road that all these posh houses are on. It's weird, isn't it? Jacqueline was kept awake last night by the heavy rain. Oh, a tractor. Our weather warning for thunder this evening was cancelled, but the temperature at midnight is showing 19 degrees, so not much sleep tonight. Get your fan on. A tractor, as you say, machine arrived yet. That's been a week now. You should have it by now. Hosepipe ban here in Devon. Oh, have you? We haven't got one of those yet, Jill. Oh, I'm sure we will have soon. Uh, so, Tuesday, the 30th of Martin. It's nice and sunny on the cost of Del Gates Ed. Why I pet. Gosh, hosepipe ban. No, hosepipe. We've had a ban here in Cornwall. Hosepipe. We have a ban here in Cornwall in Devon. Oh, have you got a net? We will have soon, but we haven't at the moment. But I bought a new hosepipe last year and none of the things fit on it. The, 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 it's really weird. It's a strange um, connection. So I can't put my um, thing on. So I have to actually stand watering the garden. Anyway, Tuesday. Tuesday, I've got Tracy Dennis from Owl and Sewing Cat on Tuesday. Just her. Then on Wednesday, I've got Rebecca Harrison, dressmaking. And then Carolyn Forster. Now, Carolyn Forster's a, a writer. She writes a book. I don't know what book she's... Oh, actually, I can look it up. One moment, caller. Let me just see what book she's bringing with her. Oh, my computer's so hot. Uh, Jan, I've got my Bel Beldre fan away with us, so it's going to get muggy. I've had to send my fan back to Stone Street. It won't change speed. Oh, good job the temperature's dropped. He hasn't here. If you have a blue badge, host pipes don't apply to you for some reason. I haven't got a blue, well, a blue badge as in a famous person blue badge or a blue badge as a disabled blue badge. No delivery yet. 
Oh, a tractor. That's a, I suppose it's because it's got to get to Belfast, doesn't it? Oh, I hope it comes soon. Uh, right, hang on. Let's have a look at Carolyn. In here. In here. On Tuesday. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Not Tuesday, and it's Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Oh, she's in on 8 o'clock. Exclusive launch of a brand new book. Oh, it doesn't say what it's called. Pfft. So it's a brand new quilting book on Wednesday. Uh, oh, Helen's watching Croatia. Just thought you'd like to have... Helen, have you bumped into uh, Hannah? Producer Hannah's in Croatia at the moment. Uh, I had to put my phone in the fridge to cool off. Oh, dear, Maureen. Uh, Lo says, hi, John, adoring this weather. Are you in the sea? Lo, we had pouring down rain yesterday and they said it was going to be pouring down now. So I put all my cushions away, but it's still blue skies. Uh, Jill, going up to Melton Mowbray for a couple of days for my grandson's birthday. So we'll miss Wednesday and Thursday's shows. Um, have I got as far as... Oh, yeah, Wednesday. I'm in Wednesday. Am I in Thursday? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm in Thursday. By now I've got to say, oh, Thursday night, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, Fran loves Carolyn Forster's books. J uh, Hillary just had a couple of days in the Grange over Sands and Windermere in Gino, our first, oh, Gino De Campo. Gino De Campo, got it. You need to be registered disabled. Okay, why, why can you, uh, no offence, I'm not being rude at all, but what difference does it make to your garden if you've got a good blue badge or not? Don't understand that. Manage to get you live, says Jane, I'm here, Jane, live. Uh, Dennis. Now, is it Dennis or Denise, that one? Dennis and Jill, I think it is. We had trouble with our garden hose connectors. Eventually found one in B&M. Cheapy, but works the best. I'm going to have to do something about that. But I don't want to buy it, and then there'll be a, a what's it. Anyway, so Thursday, who have I got on Thursday? Cara Ackerman, and I've got uh, Claire from Native Lighting. It's Thursday, right? Then I get my car whiz up to London because I'm going to the premiere of the new Gary Barlow film on Thursday night. Red carpet and everything. Red carpet, the works. I'm on the red carpet to watch out on the news for me. Gary Barlow singing a song. Um, oh, hang on. Loads, I've been sweet at sea swimming most of the weekend, but now, back now, washing the moho with buckets, hardware. Oh, yeah, get your hose pipe out. Oh, you got a hose pipe out. Uh, buying a dream catcher for another mum to be, says Fran. Princess says, oh, she doesn't understand. Viv says, did you like your tour around my garden? Viv, I haven't seen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very nice. I think you're being funny, aren't you? Probably because it's hard to use a washing can. Oh, yes, Liv. I'm not being rude or anything. I just don't. I can't carry heavy washing can. Thank you. No, no, no. I wasn't being rude at all. I wasn't being rude whatsoever. Just didn't understand it. My brain didn't. I love that. Ta I love Take That Long Time Fan. Oh, Maureen, we're all going to be there. Did you watch Showing Beyond Wednesday? Lovely African fashion. Remind me of the lovely fabric show. I'm so sure. I, I skimmed through it. I videoed it and then I skimmed through it. I thought it was boring. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, I, it didn't, oh, okay, that's, I'll talk about that, is that there is the film I was, I was supposed to be in June, and June, apparently the person who got my part is very heavily featured. Everyone who's seen it said, oh, John, you'd have been really heavily featured if you'd done it. Koki, the director, still goes on about, that should have been you, that should have been you, and she's gone on to something else now, which I can't be in, but anyway. Another time. Uh... Jacqueline, don't you think you could be... I don't think you could be rude if you tried... Oh, I can, Jacqueline. Oh, I can. I can be very rude if I don't like somebody. Uh, I can't go into Sewing B this year. Says, oh, no, that's not good, Low. Fran, I agree Sewing B is very dull. Are oh, you smoke for... Viv, as soon as I put that post up, they put the fire out. So I don't know if they heard it or not. Uh, they start you to be great with Sewing B. Yeah, no, there's, I, 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 they're not going to, are they? Um, Oi, Princess. Uh, when's the next episode of Glow Up? Oh, I've just watched it. It's Drag Queens. Have you seen the Drag Queen one? I've just watched it already. So it must be on the iPlayer already. Great Bridge Sewing Bee, how would you make it better? I totally reformatted it. It would be about the sewing, not about the personalities and not about backstories or anything like that. It'd be pure about sewing and how they get on with their sewing, what problems they have, what feet they're using, what seams they're doing, all that sort of stuff. Could still make it funny, could still make it enjoyable, but just not about personalities. 
Right, so then, I, I, so that's Thursday night when I go to the premiere. So I come back on Friday. I'm not at work on Friday. Then on Saturday, it's the first of my birthday shows on Saturday. Because I've got three. I've got three birthday shows. So Saturday, I've got Rebecca, Rebecca Reed, who I've done a collaboration with. Oh, hang on. I've been in Dorset this weekend. Then go off to Broad Sands in the evenings. Oh, that's where she swims in the sea. Uh, June says, I'm not sure the guest judges add anything. No, no. Glow up drag queen makeup was a lot of fun, says Bernie. Yeah, it was, but how funny. Well, I won't say anything in case you haven't watched it, but the ones you thought would do really well didn't, did they? Totally agree with your ideas on revamping Sewing B, says Hilary. I love the final flow dresses. Yeah, I didn't think the one that won should have won, though. Do you? Sewing B, if I had a choice, I'd lose Esme and Pasco. Oh, there you go. Prince says that'll be good to watch your collab with Becca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, I agree with your oversight B, says Pauline. Thank you, Pauline. So, I've done a collaboration with Amber Makes for three John Scott tote bags. I mean, I think I'm allowed to tell you. I've got to, oh, so when I go in on Tuesday, I've got to film them and then they're going to promo them on their, um, on their website. I'd love to, you see, great show me, John. It'd be so much more relevant. Thank you, Lynn. They don't want me though. Pauline agrees with me. Oh, that'd be good to watch your collaboration with Rebecca. Yeah, well, they've done all the work. I like the green one best, and they said it wasn't finished right, and it wasn't finished very well, was it? But um, they don't seem to care about that, some, some of them, do they? So ve- their judging is very haphazard, I'd say. Haphazard. Uh, so, uh, I've done a, a collaboration with Amber Makes on Saturday. And then, hey, uh, Horn Furniture on. Horn Furniture's on on Saturday as well, with the lovely Jason. I think you and Esme would be a great match. I've never met Esme, you know. I think we would. I think we would. Um, now, also, I didn't know this. So I've designed some panels, right? And I thought they were going to be for next, you know, later on in the year. Anyway, the first batch of panels are on on my birthday. Now, I don't know which show they're on, but they're going to be on. And I'll do a, I'll do a sneak peek. I've brought them home because I've got to make something with them. On Saturday will be the first ever fishing holiday. A present for my husband's 60th. Oh, the glamour. Well, is at the ready. On Saturday... You're going to miss Rebecca. Take your thing. Take your, t- Make sure you've got watching on the app then. Uh, would you call it BBSB? Best British saying B. Or maybe Joe. Sue says, I hope Horn are bringing the extra large table. Oh, I can have a look for you. Do you want me to have a look? Ooh, hang on. Uh, oh, where do I go for that? Hang on. I've got it here somewhere. Uh, not there. One moment, caller, please. Right, so if I go to Sapphire, go in here. I can tell you exactly what they're bringing. Oh, no, did we get an email? Might have got an email. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We might have had an email. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Horn proposal show. Right, what is it? What is it you wanted? Extra large tabletop extension tables. There's a high-low height adjustable craft table. Craft Cube. Oh, the, no, the Mark II Craft Table. Was that the one you wanted? Extra Large Cutting Mat. The Hideaway, the one that fits your machine. Uh, high Low Height Adjustable Craft Table in Oak, Beach and Weathered Oak. Uh, and White. And then I've got chairs and hobby chairs. So I don't think any of those. I don't know if it's any of those. Uh and says, lovely shirt. Oh, thank you. It's ancient, this shirt. Absolutely ancient. We should have John Scott sewing, alternative sewing beat. Oh, shouldn't we just? Oh, Vin's got the extra large table. It's lovely, she says. So that's Saturday. The first of my birthday shows. Oh, hang on. I've got to get back to here now, haven't I? Then on Sunday. Oh, Jane says, sorry, today. how's everyone coping with the heat? Well, Jane, you'll have to read back because we're all wilting. Just joined. Sorry for our already mentioned, but I'm planning on coming to Festival of Quilts on the Thursday. Will, oh, where's that gone? Will you be there then? Yeah, I'm doing Thursday and Saturday. Festival of Quilts, I'm doing Thursday and Saturday. Oh, so sorry. Uh, thunder rumbling, get duvet washing off the line. Oh, off you go, Lynn. Do you it? <coughs> uh, we still haven't got thunder. It's still blue out there. Lots of flies. It's all like storm flies. So it's on its way. Uh, then on Sunday, <coughs> Joe Carter's in. Lisa Lamb is in. It's her birthday today. It's Lisa Lamb's birthday today. And Adam is in. Now, Adam is doing a John Scott shirt. 
I don't, I think I'm allowed to tell you that. And we've got lovely fabrics coming in for that. Uh, Lisa Lamb's doing two of her bags. And Joe's doing a brand new uh, soft toy. Can you speak faster, John? I'm watching on my phone in the garden. The battery's getting low. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mari. I've nearly done. I've nearly finished. Then on Monday, it's my birthday on Monday the 19th. That's my birthday. Got Delphine Brooks in. I've done a collaboration with Delphine as well. We've got Guy Carver from Glowforce in. And I've got the Dukey boys. Gar well, you see, when they're in last, Gary said he wasn't coming. It was only George. But on my paper, it says that they're both coming. And Scott Stone's coming on as well. Uh, or Lisa Allen. No, you mean Lisa Lamb. I'm running out of bags to stand the six. I'm there'll be more of those. Can you believe Lisa's 60 today? She doesn't look it. No, I know. She did ever so well for 60, isn't she? What a full on week. Sounds great. Right. OK. Oh, Lynn's 65 tomorrow. Princess said she just heard a rumble and it wasn't her tummy. <coughs> they haven't arrived here, but they will do soon. <coughs> I'm going to have to go because my throat's going. But then, <coughs> but then on the Monday, it's my birthday, the 19th, right? Then my friend Barbie comes around with her mum for a cup of tea and then I go to the airport and I go to Spain and then I'm not in again then until Tuesday the 27th. <clears throat> oh, uh, so she won't be able to see that here because she's not watching today. So and then I'm off until the 27th then. Oh dear. <clears throat> My hay fever's been bad today and I think this might be this because I've got the window open the tree pollen's all blowing in. So it's a really, really, really full on, full on, full on week and then a week off so I'm all absolutely fine. So um, I will find the link for you to go and buy this book. Also, don't forget my book's still available on Amazon because I've got a meeting with my uh, publishers in the morning. So if you want to buy some more this afternoon before she looks, checks how many have sold tomorrow. Um, and uh, that's it, really. So has anyone else got any other news? Try go off and see Dulce. Oh, you're on on my birthday, the 27th. Yeah, I'm in on Tuesday, the 27th. <clears throat> Do you want to see who I've got on Tuesday the 27th? Hang on. Tuesday the 27th is Delphine. Delphine's in on your birthday, Wendy. Uh, it's my youngest son's birthday on the 27th. How is that possible? I'm only 25. 30. Well, he's 30, June. And he's the youngest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, I've told them. I've told them, Princess, but... I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm afraid. All you can do, uh, Princess, email Scott. Email Scott directly saying that uh, it's a, it can be affecting the sales figures if you can't see what's there. Uh, oh, join for my birthday on the 19th. Oh, Anita, happy birthday, same day as me. I have to wait till September to go to Spain. Have a good time. Oh, thank you. I'm going to Spain in June. I'm going to Catalonia in August. And I'm going to Sicily in September. Lorraine says happy birthday for the Monday. Thank you. Now, there will be a free gift. There will be a free gift on Monday. We don't know what it is yet. We don't, we don't, not tomorrow, Monday. It's a week tomorrow, Lorraine. But thank you. Um, we don't know what the free, I don't know what the free gift is yet. I don't think there's a badge. I don't think we've got a badge. Because I asked for something else in my free gift. They ordered it and then went, oh, we're selling those. So I don't, don't quite know uh, what, your, what your free gift will be. But anyway. Oh. My phone's buzzing like nobody's business. So has anyone... Wait, wait, oh, hang on. Those messages, those messages, those messages. Uh, Lynn's laughing at June. Uh, new granddaughter born this month. Callie. Is that her name? Callie. She's adorable, says Julie. June says Facebook wasn't great this week either. Oh, wasn't it, June? Well, I think that the Facebook and the YouTube come from the same feed. No badges, princess. No, there's no badges. Thunder's getting louder. Round two for the storm, set storm says Sandra Sakalos. Hope they get the, nothing. Margaret, they'll, nothing will happen with the lighting now. That's it. They're not going to do anything more to the studio. So what we've got is what we've got to put up with. Uh, we, we're still waiting for the two new cameras. We're still waiting for the new talkback unit. But apart from that, nothing else is going to happen. Uh, congratulations, Julie Eons. Julie Eons. Uh, Shirley, I'm off now. Take care, everyone. Give, go and give you throw to rest. Thank you. You're a national treasure. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, congratulations, Julie, says Lynn. Wendy says, yes, we've got thunder too. You say, I haven't, not yet. Not here yet. The clouds haven't moved here. It must be so still. Uh, little birthday treat for me and grandson due towards the end of the week. Wouldn't let me add gift card. It's coming from Amazon, possibly Friday. Oh, thank you. Gotta go, says Lo. Love and hugs. Jacqueline says, have a nice time with Dulcie. <clears throat> well, I have not heard back from her. 
And Dulcie goes everywhere with her phone. So she didn't reply. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope it, well, it might be pouring down with rain, but if it does, we'll just sit in. She's got an awning. We'll just sit under her awning. Okay, I'm going to go now then. Take care, everybody. Uh, have a lovely uh, week. Don't forget, come and see me on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. At Sun Street, because then I'm off then for a week. Um, Jan, love you loads. Looking forward to watching this week. Have a good week. Thank you. Sue says bye. Stay safe in the storms. Get the boat out. Jill says bye. Princess says bye. Don't forget to email. Oh, there you go, Clegg. Thanks for the chat. Bye. I'd be happy, everyone. Annette says bye, everybody. Ruby says bye, John, everyone. Have a great week. Thank you very much. Lynn says see you later. Are oh, you coming around, Lynn? Uh, Nancy says bye, John. June says bye all. June is busting out all over. Thanks for the company, says Christine. Gina says bye. I will have to press the button in a minute. Sue says bye, everyone. Thanks for the chat. You're my pleasure, Sue. I didn't have my window shut down. People are walking past going, who's that shouting? We can hear people shouting. Not long till you break. No, exactly, friend. Bye, everyone, says Lynn. Carol says bye. Martin says thank you for an awesome live stream. You're very welcome, Mar Martin. Uh, Yvette says bye-bye. Klim says thank you and goodbye. Margie says bye for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, enjoy your tea, everyone. Have a lovely evening. I hope you get the rain. Bye, everyone, says Wendy. Princess says it's... No, it's not Scott at sayingstreet.com. Scott.scone. Scone. Scott.stone. Oh, no, that, no, I don't think he's Sewing Street either. I don't know if he's Sewing Street because he's in charge of all of us, isn't he? So don't, I don't know that. I'll have to, I'll have to find it out for you. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, bye, everyone. Keep cool and dry, says Lynn. Thank you, John. So pleased we still have our Sunday chat, says Sue. My pleasure. Joan says bye all. Bye, says Tina. Lovely chat. Legit. Have a great week. Hilary says bye. Mari says bye. Thanks, John. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Pauline. Liz says bye. Princess says thank you. I'll send you a private message, Princess, with it, because I shouldn't really be giving out in the ether, should I? Oh, actually. Oh, actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang. If I go here. I might be to do it for you now, Princess. Hang on. Scott.stone at jewelrymaker.com. Scott.stone at jewelrymaker.com. He is on Facebook, but he never goes on it, Fran. He's rubbish. He's rubbish on the Facebook. Right, I'm going. I'm going now. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a lovely week. Thunder and big spots of rain, says Angie. Not here, not yet, Angie. Still no clouds here. Well, let's have a look at my app. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Princess. Long last turn with uh, today. Today. No, it still says six o'clock. Six o'clock. Oh, got a while to wait yet. Anyway, bye everyone. Take care. Have a lovely week. See you later. Bye.